Okay, part two, calming. So this balance is for calming political chaos, opening up our hearts, minds and souls so that we can see the world with what's going on in all its glory, chaos and evil, the whole kit and caboodle. So let's just, for a sec, I'm just going to get my intention set. So I'm going to use that energetic uh, thing, tapping the brain, tapping the heart. So the intention is to calm political chaos. The intention is to calm political divisiveness. The intention for us is to be able to see the chaos that is being created deliberately around the world so that we can be out there in the world with peace, harmony and love. Okay. I choose to see the divisiveness. I choose to see peace, love and harmony. I choose to see where there is evil. I choose to see the positives on the planet. I choose to think, use my brain, make my own decisions. I choose to look at what is right for me and my family. I choose to be selfish where necessary. I choose to walk through life with love, peace and harmony. Okay, let's go have a squiz. So, Adrenal survival, deep survival, hidden deep survival, right? So a hidden deep survival, obviously that's a huge intention. So hand over the heart, spot on the spine. Okay, is it linked in with the celestial circuit? Is it linked in with EMC, MMC, PBSS? Right. So energetically, we're just going to calm some survival patterns. These big patterns on the planet have been going on for hundreds and hundreds of years. So the brain has been so mesmerized by everything. Quite often we are simply born with a knowing that is suppressed when we are between zero and seven years old. We're taught what to think, not how to think. Okay, so the first little area showing up is the cerebellar vermis. This little area is about confusion with what we're seeing isn't what we're being told or what we're feeling isn't what happening. So it's like there's a confusion with the senses and then we have to dull our senses in order to be able to get through. When this is happening, it's basically like this gaslighting we are doing to ourselves so that we can thrive and survive on the planet but we have to do it via stopping ourselves from thinking via stopping ourselves from being true to ourselves and this amygdala pattern here is escape submission freeze so it's wanting to run away wanting to stop not wanting to think not wanting to listen to ourselves Next little area showing up is the orbitofrontal cortex. This is when our brain is waiting for logical and creative thinking. And of course, when we're being told what to think, we're not thinking logically and creatively. We're just doing what we're being told to do. So this little area, it wants to think, it wants to be creative. It wants to not be shut down anymore. Mm, and there's some anger in underneath that. Anger is useful. I find anger, I'm more likely to get things done when I'm, like if something's just, you know, floating away in the background and I'm feeling okay, but then it just starts driving me nuts, I'm much more likely to get active. I'm much more likely to get vocal. I'm much more likely to get things done if I'm feeling angry. And we often suppress our sixth sense 
So we have amazing brains, amazing brains. And quite often we're only using like nine or 10% of our brain because we suppress our ability to go out there in the world and see things and go out there in the world and experience things. We are not utilizing our brain to the best of our abilities much of the time, much of the time. That's where things like that Wim Hof breathing, you know, it can really open and expand our brains. We can sleep better. We can utilize our immune system better. We, you know, breathing and meditation and the Badico method and all that sort of thing is so good for us. Okay, there's another little pad in the subcostal gyrus. So this is the one that's to do with uh, generational anger, but what's showing up is domination, submission. And this has been, you can imagine, uh, politically worldwide, we've been dominated. We've had to be submissive to get through the last couple of years. And the other thing going on here is codependency. So with this little part of the brain, how many of us wouldn't have got by without governmental support over the last few years? It's been a real challenging time. And we see, as always, the rich are getting richer. You know, those people aren't struggling in these times. You know, and I was listening to a documentary that was talking about the number of small businesses that have gone down, the transfer of wealth from people like us to the billionaires. It's just going to be a fun time moving forward, isn't it? <laughs> but I think it's allowing us to go back to our roots, what is really, truly needed for us to be happy, healthy and well. Is it the big flash cars? Is it the big flash houses? You know, or is it really connections with loved ones, connections with community, connections with our family and friends? And nature, oh my goodness, bringing nature into the fold on a daily basis. Okay, that's better. Yeah, so that codependence, uh, submission, docility, that's where we're being suppressed and gaslit, you know, is trying to make us feel less than worthy of being out there in the world and living our lives. Okay. So reticular activating system. Yep. And that codependent submission uh, is sh shutting down that serotonin. So when we think about big government, big world stuff, big agendas, when we start looking at it, it makes us, it can lower that serotonin. So it feels too big for one person, but the fantastic thing is we're not just one person there are millions and millions and millions of people who are starting to see the big stuff which is amazing so this is serotonin low serotonin but when we start to see the big picture we do get that vigilance so we start being alert to what's going on and then you start to see through the bs which is amazing and all of a sudden everything becomes clear but we have to keep reminding ourselves that there's so many layers upon layers upon layers upon layers. They're not gonna tell us. So it's uh, only via keeping our minds open and our hearts open and our souls ready to receive information that we become more and more able to receive further information. It's quite an interesting time on the planet. Okay, there's another reticular activating system, but this time it's within the body. So we need to activate all our muscles. So firstly, activate the uh, neck and shoulders, tight, 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 and relax. And then I want you to get your fingers and arms tight, 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 and relax. And then your feet and legs tight, 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 and relax. Then I want you to do your buttocks and your abdominal muscles tight, 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 and relax. And then just tighten everything from head to toe. Allow the rubbish to disappear from your body. 
tight, 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 tight. And relax. Right, so that tightness in the body, it's with noradrenaline, so that expectation of long-term stress. And the bottom of the feet and the kidney one points, this is to do with focus and directing attention. So we've always got to keep rounding ourselves. When we're paying attention to what's going on big picture, it's heavy, it's dense information, it's mind blowing when we start to find out big stuff. So we need to keep rounding ourselves, we need to keep breathing, we need to keep one with nature, we need to keep our diet healthy, we need to keep looking after ourselves so that we can cope with the density of the information but just keep raising your vibration up every day because that's the last thing that the elites want the governments don't want people who are thinking for themselves okay good 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 so let's just quickly finish off with, okay, so throat chakra. And okay, so sacral chakra is about creativity. It's, a, it's the reproductive organs, but it's about creativity and throat. So these are the two chakras that are showing up. So throat chakra is about truth. It's about speaking. Sacral chakra is around creativity. And much of what we're doing, you know, when we're sitting down watching TV, we're shutting down our creativity. We're being told what to think. They don't call it programming. You know, they call it programming for a reason. So just getting into some meditation practices, getting into some Wim Hof, getting into some breathing, getting into nature, all helps to open everything up. So I'm gonna do some similar ones like this every so often because I feel like it's just so important on the planet these days to keep ourselves switched on to what's going on but also allow our vibration to stay high because if we're alert to what's going on, it can really lower our vibration and then we can feel depressed and bummed out and like what life's not worth living. That's not where we wanna be. We want to stick it to them. We want to live our best lives. We want to be happy and healthy and well and free. So take care, everyone. Love you, my gorgeous humans. See you again soon.